Today we're going to look at a passage in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Today, as this video is being recorded, it is Election Day here in the United States. And of course, this has been getting a lot of attention from people. And the ability to participate in an election like this and to be able to cast a vote if you choose to do so is one of the privileges that we have as citizens of this country. And it's an important thing and it's perfectly fine to appreciate that and value that. But at the same time, we need to understand that as Christians, we have a better citizenship. Our citizenship that is in heaven. That's what Paul talked about here in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. He said, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of His glory by the exertion of the power that He has even to subject all things to Himself. As Christians, we serve the Lord. We serve Christ. He is the one who is king. He is the one whose throne is in heaven. And He has the power to deliver us from this world, to save us from our sins, and to give us eternal life. And we're looking forward for, to His return in order to have that blessing, in order to realize that salvation that He promises us. So we're waiting for that day. We are eagerly waiting for this, as Paul said. But we need to remember that our citizenship is in heaven, that this is the most important thing. There are blessings that come from being a citizen of the United States for those of us who live here. But what is more important is our citizenship in heaven. So while we are easily distracted at times like this by the things of this world, the affairs of, of the state and politics and all of that, let's not forget that no matter what happens with the election today or in the days to come as, as decisions are made and votes are counted and all of those things happen, let's not forget what is truly important. No matter what happens in the election, if we're Christians, our citizenship is in heaven and we have hope with Christ for eternal life. We'll be faithful to Him. And so let's Pray for the nation and the leaders, whoever may be elected into office. Pray for them, as Paul would talk about in 1 Timothy chapter 2, that we might be able to lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. At the same time, remember that our citizenship is in heaven. Keep that as the focus. Keep that as our goal. And no matter what happens here, let's continue to serve the Lord.